so there have been severe uh, storms in Guatemala, lots of rainfall, and uh, there's a picture that's going viral on the internet of a sinkhole uh, that swallowed a three-story building. Yeah, that is simply the most amazing picture, uh, let's put it this way, that I've seen in a long, long time. It is an amazing picture. Uh, that's crazy, dog. <laughs> okay. I mean, can you imagine that happening where you live? All of a sudden, the earth opens up and swallows it. I'm surprised Pat Robertson hasn't gone on a tirade about how the Guatemalans had it coming because they made a deal with Satan or Beelzebub or something. And then uh, Iranian clerics uh, haven't been screaming about uh, how the Guatemalan women are not wearing enough clothes <laughs> to have created true. these kind of natural disasters. So yeah, that's a sinkhole in Guatemala City. Just to give you an idea of how much rainfall uh, Guatemala has seen over the past few days, um, as of Saturday, uh, 4,300 people were in shelters because of damage that was done to their homes. Also, 4.3 inches of rain had fallen on Guatemala City's valley in 12 hours, and that's the most since 1949. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Uh, now, sinkholes are badass. I didn't realize they were that badass. I, mean, I don't know if they're badass. They're <laughs> scary. I mean, yeah. I, I, maybe this is going to sound super naive, but I didn't think that they were actually possible. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how far does that thing go down. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how well, any of it works. Like, I knew sinkholes happen, but not like that. Right. Okay, luckily we have a geologist on the yeah, set. Yeah, let's have okay. the geologist on the show. All right, uh, Dave Kohler, executive producer and geologist. Uh, sinkholes, go. Well, amazingly, as much as I love earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes, floods, sinkholes is pretty low on my list. I, I don't. Th I got so many emails. Dave, did you see the sinkhole? Yeah, it doesn't excite me that much. Oh, that's a shame. But uh, come on, that looks fun and exciting. It, yeah, no, it's definitely cool. It's definitely cool. How do sinkholes <laughs> happen? Do you know? Well, when the land, when the bedrock is a soluble kind of rock like limestone and a few others, the water can dissolve it, and it doesn't happen instantly. But over time, it starts making a cavity. Eventually, the ground underneath is too weak. The top just come collapses right down. And does that go all the way to the center of the earth? <laughs> all the way to Australia. <laughs> oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's how the Gazans are going to get chocolate into the Gaza Strip. Sinkhole, <laughs> cross, horizontal uh, drill. It connects with BP. It's all, you know. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 in fact, I hear Halliburton made that home. Right. <laughs> uh, no, okay. Do we know how far it goes down, seriously, or no? I don't. They might know. They could try to flashlight and guess with drop a rock in it. I don't know. But, <laughs> you know, in a land that has caves like Kentucky or West Virginia, these caves, they go deep and then they... They're interconnected, and people go spelunking, and they walk in them for hours. So. Uh, I was wondering when we were going to use the word splun spelunking on the show today, and there, we delivered. Okay, so what happens to the sinkhole now? Does Guatemala City just have a gigantic sinkhole in the middle of the city I now? I think so. And there's nothing that can it's be done? It's not practical to fill it up. That, well, that one's huge. But this happens in Florida a lot. I, we could get a Florida person to tell us what happens. If That's the real estate's too valuable, they've got to do something. No, no. You know what? Uh, they should leave it. It's a yeah. great tourist it's site. It's a tourist site. Oh, everybody wants to see uh, Now, all of a sudden, I want to see the sinkhole in Guatemala, and I want to see if the Balrog comes out of it. I'm going to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, yeah, they got, a great, they got a great thing going there. I'm not sure, except I wouldn't want to get too close in case there's another sinkhole. There's right. a three-story <laughs> building in there. That's amazing. That's amazing, <laughs> Yes. I think we're underselling how amazing this is. You know, stories. it is amazing. They should fortify, may allow you to go down. Yeah, it could be cool. Now Build a problem, good railing. But if you're saying, Dave, it's because of the limestone underneath, et cetera, isn't the rest of the city have the same kind of limestone? Well, sure. That, at least that neighborhood, yeah. Yeah. I'd be a little careful about living in that neighborhood. I'd think a couple of times before I, you know, stayed there a little longer. But how lucky do you feel uh, to be living in the uh, building right next to the sinkhole? <laughs> that you're not the one who fell into that sinkhole? Yeah, and how unlucky do you feel if you were in that building? Yeah, I you know, but your life is spared. You feel as lucky as the people did in the Second World Trade Center tower for about 45 minutes. Yeah. yeah, well, yes, that's what I'm like, but it long, it's lasting longer than 45 minutes, so mm, go ahead and get another apartment, <laughs> okay? I mean, I'm just saying, word to the wise. 